Okay, today I'm going to record myself with the headphones on to try to teach you different ways to be creative. In order to be creative, you must apply the basic skills on top of each other. That's how multiple moves are combined together, etc. Right now I'm just dribbling with the pinky toe, etc. And I'm just turning with the right foot. Try to keep it on the line if I can. And that's all about pushing the ball in the proper space. On the curve of the ball. Try to keep it on the line if I can. Use the inside, outside of my foot. If it goes off the line, to bring it back to the line, etc. This will help you dribble in a straight line. So I'm using my pinky toe to push the back curve of the ball before I turn. Right now, I'm just looking at the ball. I want to switch to the left foot. But normally, I will not. Just for this activity, just to get comfortable, we're pushing it in a straight line before I turn. The reason why I'm doing this basic skill, basic push, is to understand the ball. Once I understand the ball, I'll be able to combine different types of moves together to be creative. So right now, I must understand how to push the ball in a straight line and however I want to. <clears throat> so again, if you watch me here, this is the white line. I'm pushing the ball directly in the center in the back curve of the ball so that it stays, it goes straight. Pushing means I push it with the outside part of my foot to go forward. I want to push it in the direction I want it to go to. <clears throat> Other terms are like pull and drag, meaning I pull it back to me. Or I pull it away from the opponent by using the sole of my foot. I pull it down, I pull it across, etc. This is all pulling. Pushing is using your pinky toes, etc., to push it in the space. I can push it in this space with the inside of my foot if I choose to, okay? But ideally, we, we tend to refer to pushing with the outside of your foot, pulling or dragging with the sole of your foot. Inside of your foot, again, you can do that, pushing in the space with that, but people usually refer to that to chopping. I'm chopping my foot on the outside curve of the ball to stop it from rolling in that direction that I pushed it. I pushed it there, I chop it to not let it go any further, roll any further past that point. So I'm chopping it back to me, chopping it away from the opponent, stopping the ball from rolling away from me anymore. Okay, so you gotta understand those areas. If I touch this back curve here, or this ball diagonally, Notice it goes to my top left, okay? Because I touched the back curve of that ball, okay? Same thing. If I touch the back curve with the left foot, it's going to go forward but to the right. If I touch the front curve of the ball here with the right foot, it's going to go backwards but to my left side. And if I touch the top curve here with the left foot, it's going to go backwards to my right side. So where, where your foot touches the surface of the ball or the curve of the ball will determine where it goes. If you can control that, then you're going to be a very good player. If I push this back curve, it's going to go straight. But notice if I touch it slightly off curve, off the curve, it's going to go elsewhere. Okay, so about it's all about where you are touching and where you are pushing this ball. Make sure you get your pushing uh, down correctly. Okay? Again, if I want the ball to go this way, I push it this way, diagonally, a little bit, etc. If I chop it too far in front, it's going to go behind me, etc. Okay, so once you get that down, you'll be here, you'll be good to go. So let's go into some creative moves. Let's start with the basics of a roll. So I'm rolling it from one foot to the next. I step across the line before I roll, or I step on the line, step in the direction I want to go to before I roll it in the direction that I'm leaning towards. Okay, so it's all about getting your body 
and one side of the ball. So right now, most of my body is on the left side of the ball. I roll, touch, step, roll, touch, step, roll, touch. Okay, so I'm gonna do that a couple of times. So watch how I lean to the side I want to go to before I roll it, okay? I want to lean in that direction or step hard into that direction that I want to go into before I roll it. I'm using the sole of my foot to roll it to the other foot. I want to control that roll. I want to roll it fast. So the quicker I roll it to my foot, the quicker I can get it under control and take a touch beyond my opponent. The purpose of the roll is to roll past their reaching leg. The second touch is to touch forward. Okay, first touch is the roll. Second touch is to push it beyond them. Okay, so roll across, touch forward. Roll across, touch forward. Roll across, touch forward. Okay, <laughs> the, the touch forward can be with the inside of your foot, like this. Or it could be with the outside, like that, okay? So roll it, push, roll it, push, and so on. So that's the first basic skill. Roll, touch, roll, touch it, roll, touch it. The touch sets me up for the next skill. The touch forward sets me up for the next skill or for the next action. Big shot, like this, like that, etc., and so on. <clears throat> I'll do it one more time. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Let's add another skill to it to increase your. Creativity. Scissors is when your feet come together behind the ball first, together like this. The ball starts in between your feet. Bring your feet together behind the ball. The foot that is closest to the ball, in this case, my right foot, will go around the front curve of the ball first. Okay, and then the left foot will come together, then go around the front curve of the ball. Come together behind the ball, the, clo the closest foot to the ball, swings around the front curve of the ball okay once you pick it up you can find your balance landing on your toes my chest is over the ball the ball is directly underneath me my foot is going around the front curve of the ball i'm pretending like i'm taking it with the left foot trying to deceive my opponent by pretending like i'm pushing out with the left taking it with the right Pretend, pretend, pretend. I'm pushing my body majority on one side of the ball. Okay, because the opponent is going to most likely check, watch my body and chase my body. So if I push majority of my body on the outside of the ball, they will likely follow, opening up the space on the opposite side. If I go here, the opponent is going to move to my left. I push to the right, etc. Okay. So again, fake, fake, the opponent's going to move here. I push there, okay? So let's do a couple scissors and then push it and push. You can do a single like this where you go left, push, right, push. You can do a double, left, right, push, etc. Same thing, left, right, Left, right, that's three. Right, left, right, that's two. And so on. Nudge it forward. One, two, three. One, two, three. And so on. The key is I want to get low. Low, swing my body on one side of the ball before I go again. I want the ball to keep rolling every time. I do not want the ball to start rolling. I want to control the roll, but I want it to go into the direction that I'm moving towards before I push it away from my opponent. So boom, boom, I push it out to the left. The faster you swing your foot, the better. Okay, so swing across, push, 
It's very hard to defend because the opponent don't know what, what you're going to do. I'll do one more up and down. Right, left, right. Right, left, right, left. I like doing more than one. It's just my style that I like, but you can do one or more, et cetera. Okay, so now this is where the creativity comes. I'm going to apply the rollover with the scissors. Okay, how do you do that? You roll the ball forward. Same principle, I step forward, I roll the ball forward. You see how the ball is rolling as I'm walking? I don't need to touch it anymore. Step, roll. Let that ball roll out. It's going to set me up for the scissors. I want to do the scissors while the ball is rolling, while the ball has momentum, etc. So you can just simply practice rolling forward, walking a little bit, and so on. Try a different feet. I roll it forward instead of diagonal to me. Get my hips facing forward. It's just about controlling the roll of the ball. I want to spin a little bit fast enough to where I can jump onto the scissors. Okay, so just simply roll it out. I'm trying to roll it at least forward along this line, not on it. doesn't have to be on it. It just needs to go into space. It keeps me walking forward. Okay, so just control your roll. Last one. Make sure it has enough speed so you can jog onto it, run onto it, etc. So now we add the scissors. So I roll it, right, left, push. Okay? Roll it, roll over, scissors. Okay? You can start with walking first, like me. Roll it, boom, boom. Typically for me, the foot that rolls it is the foot that's going to go across the ball first. Then set up the scissors, and so on. So boom, right, left, right, take it. I'm gonna roll it with my left. I'm going to start the scissors with my left, okay? I just take like one or two steps before. Let's try it again. So roll, one, two, scissors, now. So I took about two steps before I started the scissors. You can do it obviously earlier. Boom, 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 okay? So now I'm going to dribble up and down and actually do it with some with some game speed. So I roll into a scissors and I push it. Roll into scissors. Okay, you can keep it going. Roll into a scissors. Roll scissors. Okay. Roll over right left push. Roll over right left right left. Okay, my bike's facing forward. I'm trying to set up the momentum and trying to take it with speed, okay? Usually I'm going to size up my opponent. I'm going to face him. I'm going to roll it slightly to generate speed. Then I'm going to use my scissors really fast. All creativity is multiple basic skills layered on top of each other. Okay, one more round. So roll, scissors, push, roll. Scissors, push, right foot, roll, scissors, push, boom, okay, very, very simple. Another combination you can do with the rollover is a step over, okay, step over is this, remember the scissors, you bring your foot together behind the ball before you step over it. That's the scissors, right? Around the front curve of the ball. Step over is where you're on the outside of the ball. Let's just say majority of your body is on one side of the ball. The foot that's furthest from the ball steps over the curve of the ball. So when you crisscross, the ball is between your feet. Then you bring your feet together on the outside. Okay, so the furthest foot is stepping around the front curve of the ball or you're like walking across the front curve of the ball, okay? You see whenever I crisscross like this, the ball's between my feet, and I bring my feet together on the outside curve of the ball, okay? 
You can exaggerate it, obviously. Pretending like you're taking it with the inside of your foot. And you walk across it. Okay, ideally you want to get most of your body beyond the ball. Before you take it in a real game with the outside of your foot or with the inside of your other foot. So step over usually with the outside like that or step over with the inside of your foot like this. Okay, so I'm going to do some step overs alone by itself before we step into the other combination. So boom, step over, push. You see how I'm running past the ball, hard step, about two steps beyond, one, two, before I take the touch. Okay, dribble up. I want to pretend like I'm going to one side. I think I get my whole body on one side of the ball. You can hear my feet stomp. One, two, touch. One, two, stop. Okay. I'm going to do the one where you take it with the inside. So boom, boom, inside. Okay. Dribble out. Step, step, inside. Step, step, inside. One, two, inside. Okay. This is all it is. Any better at skills is just you and the ball. You're trying to figure it out, how the ball is moving, how to get the ball to move the way you want it to move, how to do the skills, because it's just both multiple skills layered on top of each other. Last round. Do two. You can do three, like that, and so on. Okay. So now you can add a combination, a rollover into a step over. This happens this way. I roll forward, roll, step with the right foot. The foot that I roll it with steps into the ground first. So boom. And then right from there, my left foot goes over the ball, with the step over. That's when I start the step over. I already rolled it, so I need to quickly roll, step over, take it. Okay, that's one way you can do it. Obviously. Okay, so roll, plant, step over, and take it. Same with the left foot. I roll it first, plant my left foot, right foot steps over. Take it with my right foot or the inside of my left foot. So roll, plant my foot, step over, take it. I can do two step overs in those situations if I roll the ball correctly. So I roll, step over, step over, take it. Okay, so let's see the combination a little bit faster. So roll, step over, step over, take Roll, step over, step over, take. That's two step overs in a row. Roll, step over, take. Okay? That combination was a little bit too slow because I took about two steps in between it, but you can still do it that way. Roll, step, touch. Roll, step over, touch. Okay? That's a little bit faster. Roll, step. Roll, step. Okay, you're trying to fake your opponent as if you're going in one direction. So roll, step, oops, hit my heel. So roll, step, push. Roll, step, push. Okay, very simple. Roll over into a step over. Take it. Roll it, step over, push. Step over, step over, push. Step over, step over. Okay, I'm going to add all three together. Okay, so I'm going to do a rollover to a step over and to a scissors. Okay, easy way to be creative. Roll over. Oh, sorry, I just messed up. So roll over, step over, and to a scissors. So roll it. Plant, step over with the opposite leg. The foot, the opposite leg that stepped over it, in this case the right foot, is going to go back over it for the scissors, for one or two. 
Okay. So roll with the left, plant, step over with the right, scissors with the right. I want to do all that while the ball is moving. Okay. So roll, step over, scissors. Okay. One more, and then I go full speed. Let's do the other one. Roll, step over, scissors. Roll, step over, scissors. Okay. Now full combo. I roll, step over, double scissors. Roll, step over, and two scissors. If the ball's rolling at a good speed in front, you'll be able to do it. Okay. You obviously can mix up the combination. I'm not going to mix it up right now. It's going to be roll, step over, and two scissors. Roll, step over, scissors. Roll, step over, scissors. Roll, step over, scissors. Gotta keep your feet moving, gotta keep the ball rolling. Roll, step over, scissors. Roll, step over, scissors. Ideally get the ball rolling straight. So straight, boom, boom, and so on. That was a roll over into a scissors. I need to do roll, step over, scissors. So roll, step over, scissors. Roll, step over, scissors. Okay? The other combination as well is if I roll, scissors, into a step over to turn. Okay? So I roll, put the scissors in, step over, and take it away. Roll, scissors, touch, step over. You can do it that way as well. You can mix up the combinations however you want to once you learn the basics. Other skill, in Yesta, you see how I'm dragging it from one foot to the other without my feet ever crisscrossing. My feet are getting to the white line at most. Okay, they're never crisscrossing. Okay, I'm using the inside part of my foot to essentially drag it like this across the line. As I, uh, as I side shuffle like this, or you can chop it like really hard to get it to the other foot. Okay, you can drag it or chop it. This is called the NES, okay? He's a player from he was a, a legend from Barcelona, one of the best midfielders to ever play the game. He used to dribble around people like this. Whenever they reach around, they'll first drag it across their reaching leg to the other foot, but the other foot will push it forward. So you're making like a right angle or an L with the ball. You want to drag it across and then push it beyond. Okay? You can do it the same way like a rollover where the first initial step is to step in the direction you want to drag it before you go. So you lean toward that side before you drag it like that. But notice I'm only going from foot to foot. I'm not really taking the touch beyond. I want to go here and then forward, drag it across, then forward, drag it across, forward. That's why I say it's much easier to think of it as like a you're drawing a right angle or an L with the ball. You go across, then push forward. Go across, push forward. Okay, you can end this. Like, you can add a scissors to this. So you go scissors, and the esta. Push forward, scissors, and the esta. Okay, obviously when the in the esta is when your feet, or the ball is between both your feet, and then you can choose to go right or left, left or right, whatever you choose, etc. But you can add it on to the end of the scissors when you drag it. Push it forward and then you have to step. Scissors, open up, combination. So you can add all these things together. So roll over, scissors, and you have to step. Roll over, step over, scissors, and you have to step.
Okay, you can even start from the beginning. And yes, roll over, scissors, and yes, And yes, roll over, onto the scissors, and yes, sir. All kinds of combinations. You can be as creative as possible, but make sure you're going forward and it's under control. Boom, boom. roll it, step over, scissors, and yes, sir. Boom, boom. Roll it, touch, and use that again. Roll over, step over, scissors. Okay. Easy, easy, peasy. Okay. The next couple of basic skills are like um, you push it, chop it, push it, chop it. Again, pushing is with the pinky toe, chopping is with the inside of the foot. Okay. So I need to push it first into space. So in this case, beyond the white line, I want to stop it from going this way. I use the inside of my foot to chop the top curve of the ball like this and down. So the ball goes back to my other foot. So push, chop. You see how it rolls all the way across that line without me touching it. I just want to time it. So once it gets to my other foot, I push it in the direction I want it to go to with my pinky toe. Easy, it's a chop, push. Very b basic term. Push, chop, push, chop. I wait until it gets to my other foot so I can push it. Boom, boom, etc. okay? The other way, another way you can do this is a pull. You push it and then you stop the ball with the sole of your foot, pull it down, towards your other foot, push it out into the other direction with the other foot, pull it down towards the other foot, push it with your pinky toe out into the other space. Okay, you're making a V with the ball. I pull down, I push up by using both feet. Okay, you can call it a double leg V or a pull push, because that's what you're doing. You're pulling it down, you're pushing it forward. Pull it down, push it forward. Okay, those are changes of direction moves, basic moves. That will help you change direction, add fakes to get your opponent off balance. So even opening yourself up to a shot or a pass at the pull push, chop push, chop push, chop push, chop push. Okay, all those fakes. So how can you add those to different skills? The first one, if you do a rollover, you can roll it into space and then chop it behind the foot, the foot that rolled it. So the left foot's going to roll, right foot's going to chop behind the left foot. Okay, so roll, chop. Okay, if I face you, roll it, chop it behind the, the plant foot of the right foot. The right foot is rolling it, so roll, plant, chop it with the left, Try to get it behind the foot. Neymar does this a lot, so roll it, chop it, like that. Roll it, chop. Okay? To push it out into a new space. I'm going this way, I go back to that other area. So roll it, chop. Left foot, we get it back to the other side. Okay? Roll it, chop. Can you control the speed of the roll? before you chop it away from the opponent, okay? So, boom, chop. That chop's not hard enough. There you go. Into space, boom, boom, okay? Like that. So roll it, chop, okay? If you notice how the chop is getting it back to the other side or in a control bush. Boom. Okay. Okay, okay. Obviously, iniesta, sorry, scissors into an iniesta to where you can add a fake shot to it. So, scissors, iniesta, chop, push. Okay, notice I'm swinging my opposite arm with the leg I'm going to fake the shot with. So, if I'm right footed, 
I got it on my right side. I want to shoot the ball with my right foot. I need to raise my opposite arm as I'm stepping, planting my left foot close to the ball. I'm exposing my chest, trying to get my chest over the ball. This gives me counterbalance, so whenever I swing it, I'm not going to fall. I'm under control with my body, etc. I'm generating a lot of speed. So whenever I do the skill, chop, push. Okay. Same with the left foot. So if I push, I want to swing, plant, chop. Okay. Swing, plant, chop. Swing, plant, chop. Okay. Swing the opposite arm. Swing, plant, chop. Swing, plant, chop. All you get is repeating your head over and over so you can tell yourself what you need to do. You will find out what happened, where did you make a mistake, and so on. Okay? So, again, you can add these into different skills. Scissors, and yes, chop, push. Chop, push. Combination. Roll, step over, scissors, and yes, chop. Push. Okay. Roll, step over, scissors, and you gotta step, pull it, push. Notice I didn't use my left arm, my right arm there. Okay. I'm not gonna really sell the move if I don't swing that arm. Get my head down, get my chest over the ball, and exaggerate my swing. I want them to dive in. Okay. Roll over, roll over, scissors, and you gotta step, pull it, push. Okay, it's a quick little motion, quick little jab. So whenever I push it, hard step, you hear the plant foot, want to jab. I want to exaggerate the swing. I can practice that by doing this, take a touch. Really get my plant foot down like that. Try to get it to exaggerate my swing, etc. Okay, and then control my Chop. Control the swing down for the chop. Or control the swing down for the pull push. Pull push. Pull push. Pull push. Okay. So notice some of those were like not even like pulled all the way down to my foot. If some of them stopped, you can do that. You can stop the ball. You stop it with the bottom of your foot. Push it, stop it, face your opponent. Get your feet uh, on the outsides of the ball, ball in between your feet. When you do that, push, stop it, face your opponent. And I have to turn my hips. So boom, boom, turn my hips face. Stop and face. Okay? This is a stop and push. Stop it. Face your opponent, hips facing your opponent, everything is facing the opponent. Just push it, stop, turn, and face. So you can add the next skill. What do I mean? I push, stop, and yes, stop, stop, and yes, stop, and yes, stop. You can do so much to where if I push it, stop it, I can drag it as if I'm going to do this, and yes, stop, I do the scissors. Okay, I can push it, stop it, roll over, touch. Obviously, you can push it, stop it, step over. And yes, then. You can dance around the ball however you want to if you know the basic skills individually. Then you just wrap it together. Step over, scissors, and yes, then. stop, and yes, then. I'm second at the chop push, pull push, roll it, scissors. I'm adding all those combinations of skills. Are you able to identify them when I do it? So, and that stuff, roll step over, scissors, and that stuff, pull push, stop. There's so much you can do. At the end, I could add like a, whenever I stop it, and uh, Maradona, 
Alright, however you want to do these combinations, you can do it. That's where creativity lies. Okay? And then lastly, the L, where you pull it down. Let me go this way. So whenever I pull it down beyond the standing leg, my right foot's on the ball, left foot's standing. I roll it, I can lean a little bit forward to where I can nudge it across that plant foot into the space. So L, push. And again, you're, you're pulling it down and across to the other foot. Can you do it while just standing in place? Again, I'm just leaning a little forward so I get it around that plant foot. Okay, that's basically how you do the L. Pull it down and across. I'm trying to move it up diagonally. If you watch here, I'm trying to push it diagonally up so I can grab it right away and I can use my next skill. Usually with this, I use the L into the double leg V. L into a pull push. L, pull it down, push it out into space. Either with the inside of the foot, like this, or outside the foot, like this, okay? You can do this however many ways you want to do it, okay? That's two different moves, an L with a pull push, okay? And again, you can set up however you want to do it. Roll over, scissors, push, L, double leg V, roll over, scissors, and so on. Okay. You can even stop it. Stop it. And yes, L double A V. Push now. Roll over, step over, scissors, and yes. Single leg V. Single leg V is when you pull it down and up with one leg. Down and up with one leg. Single leg V. Double leg V, obviously you use both feet. One down, one to pull it down. One to push it forward. Single leg, you do it all with one leg. So boom, boom. Are you able to see the skills that I use? Ooh. Okay. Easy peasy. This is where the creativity is. I'm going to move the camera, grab some water, and end on combinations to go. See if you are able to tell what skills I am using. I'm going to get a quick drink. Check the camera, make sure everything's in frame, which it looks like it. The more you practice the skills, the more confident you're going to get. Confidence comes from preparation. If you're not confident, it's because you don't do it enough. Okay, so obviously you're not going to be confident in yourself to perform when there's real pressure. So practice it now on your own. Very, very simple. Just you and the ball. Have fun. Enjoy it. doesn't take long to improve. Okay, I'm going to kick it up. High enough. Bring it down. Kick it against the wall. And then start performing. Try different skills. You guys see what moves I'm using. And I can finish it on goal. Shot or pass. It doesn't matter. Tip it, left foot, right foot, etc. If you want to get better, just how you do it. Just play, visualize yourself, performing these skills into different types of combinations. And so on. Outside the foot. Turn, take, push, roll. Turn. Of 
Conformity skills take a lot of energy out of you. So the more you practice this, the more conditioning you're going to be. Because you're probably going to be dribbling at a sprinting speed. That's how you get in shape really fast. Sprint. And sprint with the ball. You will get better and better. And side the foot. All the skills I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I just showed you in a demo. I'm just adding different combinations to get myself available, get myself open so that I can shoot it on goal or pass. Told you, most of the kids know this. Whenever I play, I don't shoot. I typically create the goal scoring opportunity for my teammate and make the extra pass so it's an easy tap in. Everyone that knows me or play with me, they know this. They typically beg me to shoot. Sometimes I shoot, but I find it more enjoyable to create goals for opportunities and give it to and get assists. Okay. I'll sign the foot. Yeah. I try to chip it and definitely did not work. Obviously, perform these skills with your head up. I know my head is down for a lot of these. But you can perform it. I'm looking at touch. Ooh. Definitely scan where the goalie is before you shoot it. So you can place it into the corner. Or chip it. Or push it around them. Etc. You can fake the aniasta where you just drag it until they reach and then do the aniasta. You can also do it like that for the scissors. So drag it and then scissors. So drag it, scissors. Get a slow roll onto it. Boom, boom, boom. The foot that is nudging the ball can go around the ball first, like that. Let's see. Laces. Cut. Roll. Scissor. Yee. You can tell I love the scissors. But the lower you get, the more you move your body on one side of the ball, the harder it is to be predictable. Notice the ball's always rolling at a speed that I can control. My body's over it. If it's out too far, I gotta bring it back, pull it back, chop it back, whatever. Ah! Messed up. Gotta do it again. If you can get the ball to do what you want. You're going to be unstoppable. Boom. Dance with the ball. All you guys love dancing on TikTok, dance with the ball. Then he has to push, jump, pull, push, jump, push, chip. Doesn't matter how athletic these people are that you play against. If they have to constantly stop and go, stop and go, it's hard to defend. That's why all the fakes, all the pulls are really good. Let's do about three more shots. Then we die. 
Par ça à toi. Oh my lord, I missed that so hard. The more you think about how to do the skill, the less you will think about making mistakes. I'm trying to go to the goal in a hurry, but under a controlled pace. Last one, if I score. Outside of four. This is essentially how you can be a creative player. Master the basic skills individually, then combine them together. But make sure you're going forward the whole time. Take your space, add fakes, head up, control the pushing of the ball. Can you push the ball the way you want it to go? Can you make the ball do what you want to do? Now you can apply different skills. Just now, peace out.